Hey everybody, welcome back to Parkitect. Last video we finished the previous scenario. Today we are starting Candyland. And uh, it's a candy themed amusement park and you pay for entry, but food and rides are free. So money's, money's gonna suck to try to get. I'm not looking forward to it. I can upcharge at the entrance, but everything else is just yikes. So we have to have at least 600 guests in the park, and then everything else is optional. Wow, look at that. The only goal is to get 600 guests in the park. I mean, we're going to go for all the optional ones, too, but... Have at least four coasters in your park with excitement rating of 60 or above. See, that makes me feel like every coaster I ever make is terrible. And now I'm sad. Because if that's the lowest that they want, 60 or... Oh my god. Have an experiences rating of at least 85%. That should be easy to do if I have to create four coasters with 60 or above. And I have to complete all goals without using any track ride blueprints. And complete them all by the end of March year 3. Okay, I don't think it's going to be that bad. I can build in pause mode. So, that's good. The only problem is we need to keep the game running to get more people in. So we can get more money. Okay, 30 bucks to get in. Right at the start here. Which, cool. Um, we have one coaster. Two coasters? Wait a second. Are we already halfway done with this goal? What's the rating on this thing? 85 extreme with oh my god a low intensity this one is rated 81 extreme are they the same ride no they aren't how how are they that good how much of them are underground that's the question so it goes does its thing goes whoop whoop hold on let's see because that's got to be it right Hide, attract, no, not attraction. We need to see attraction. Hide the ground. Not much of the ride's underground. There's a little bit of this one to, okay, actually, there's more of this one. But still, 80-something? What's the scenery rating? I gotta know. Hold on, we, we're doing our research. The scenery rating on this one is medium, and on this one, it's probably also medium. Yeah, okay. That's crazy. I guess I'm just really bad at this game. That's what it boils down to. I suck. Okay, well, now that we know that, let's look at our park. <laughs> so there's the entrance. It looks great. Here is a ride. It's free. Marzipan mix. Get it? Because that's a thing that... Food-related. Cool. We have food and drink down here. Candy. Spelled completely wrong. Boba Boba. Bubble, <laughs> they freaking named everything. We have a hauler just standing here. Um... Is that it? Is there any more flat rides? Is there a path coming this way? All right, so that just loops around there. Okay. So, we need to build two coasters. We have 10,000. They have to be above 60. We got plenty of room. Do we have any bathrooms? I'm not seeing any bathrooms. And you. Um, actually, let's look at our staff. So we have two janitors, one hauler, two mechanics. Okay. Uh, we're going to set this up right away. So he's going to be stuck there. Is that a staff room? No. That's literally just a depot. Okay, so we gotta worry about that. Where's the staff room at? Is there a staff room? There's no connection there. Okay, there is one toilet at the very beginning of the park. We definitely need one on the other side, too. Yeah, I don't know. Like, do I keep both paths open? We have benches and garbage cans. I think I'm gonna do it. I think we're not gonna close off anything. This coaster's far away. It makes sense. Food's far away, too. I don't know if we want to get any food closer to the place. Probably. Just you're going to need another hauler. All right, you. Work zone one. And we're deleting this path because we don't need it. We'll just put a sign down. There we go. It'll be gray. Cool. Done. Okay. So I don't have to do too, too much to set things up, which is kind of nice. Also, I need to turn that back on. And, okay. I had a click my mouse wheel in so it wasn't free spinning it makes moving things difficult no entry for guests good okay the only problem is when he gets tired that's going to be a very long walk back oh well we got to cover this bathroom also like i said we need another bathroom so let's build one down here if they're going to be spread out we're going to need probably going to need even more than that jeez there's so much stuff already unlocked too boop I'm also seeing no benches around these food places. I'm not a fan of that, so let's fix that. Oh my god, these are like Twinkie benches. They're glorious. Now I want a Twinkie. 
<laughs> now I'm hungry. Actually, I was hungry before starting this video, so doing this scenario probably wasn't the best option, but here we are. <laughs> Just gotta deal with it. Let's see what rise we have. Bummer cars, magic carpet, motion simulator, teacups. For thrill rides, we have experience, inverted dark red, top scan, topple tower. We already have Torbillion in. For coasters, we have a few. Ooh, we have the inverted wooden coaster. Can't wait to make more of them, and then some other. Okay. Hmm. What should we do? I guess we should get a roller coaster in first. These two rides should pull a lot of guests in because they're really good. And I guess we could probably build one right here. So let's start out building a coaster. I feel like that's the best course of action. Hyper coaster, inverting coaster, inverting wooden coaster, stand up coaster, or water coaster. Bobsled coaster is another one, too. I don't trust bobsleds, though. They're very good at exploding. So that's the stand up or hyper. This one's probably the inverted. Yep. Mm, I really don't want to make another inverting wooden coaster. I made two of them in the last park. And I don't know if I can get a water coaster that exciting. Increased popularity during high temperatures. Now let me look. I'm just I'm just clicking load blueprint to look. Um, 57, 55, 48, 51, 61. Only one of these clears it, but barely. Hmm. I feel like that's not the best choice to use then. What about hyper coasters? We have 90, 87, 70, 81, 87, 80. I feel like you're going to want to use hyper coasters to complete this scenario. I bet you the same thing is going to look the same with these inverted coasters, right? 72, 59, okay, that one's on the low side. 74, 86, 79, 70, 57, 62. Yeah, most of them were above what we need. All right, so I'm just going to build a hyper coaster. I don't care if there's already one in the park. I'm being smart about this. We're not going to spend our money on a coaster that doesn't have very, or that, that's difficult to get to that rating that we need to get to. That's the most important thing. So, here we go. Hyper coaster, it's about to begin. Let's start it right here. Build a bunch of stations so we get multiple trains. I think this one only has one. We want to, right out of the station, chain hill. Oh boy. I wonder what, like, you can see the camera gets screwed up. I don't know what does that. Like, what caused it to, like, snap back. Okay, I think it's because we have a camera that automatically attaches to the ride. I think that's what does it. That hill doesn't seem long enough, does it? Yeah, look how long that hill is. It's also, it starts out lower than, okay. This one the same deal. Drops out of the station, does a turn. I mean, eh. Eh. I think we can go up a little bit higher. Hill. Yeah, it gets, it gets glitchy. Is there a way to turn off the... Or did I just turn it on? I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna drop it. No, let's just do a straight drop down. Probably a bad idea. We can't even rotate it. Okay, yeah, we don't have much room. Okay, this is bad. Change of plan. We're not dropping it straight down there. We'll drop it straight down. Yeah, okay. So we'll shorten this. Do a little bit of a thing. And then drop it straight down. Sweet. Man, maybe I should wait. Hold on. No, this should work, right? I do want it to go underground. Underground is the big part of this. I can't even bank that. Okay. We're at 37 already. Good thing we don't have to worry about extremeness of it. We'll drop this back to two. Then we're going to throw in a turn going upwards. Sure, why not? Hills. That's what we're doing. We're sticking to the, the tradition. It's tried. It's true. Hills. Hills. Oh, my God, that excitement. I don't think we're mm, bad. That's not good. 
Vertical G's, nope, it's probably um, the other G's, the lateral. Oh, yeah, right there is where it skyrocketed. It means we're not turning fast enough, or banking fast enough, or banking enough. Back that up, I screwed that. What the, am I banking? No, I'm banking the right way. It's still a high number. God, it looks so weird. Yeah, this is just wrong. Hold on. Oh, this park. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Change of plan. We're not going this way with it. This way sucks. We're turning again. And we're going that way with it, so we have a lot more room to work with. It'll work. Don't worry. It'll be great. Then the drop. Uh, no, back that drop up a little bit. Five. Okay. Good. God, it's going so fast. But look at that. It's winning. It's working. We're, we got this. And then we're going to even loop around that coaster because it's going to be fun. Crap. Not good enough. There we go. Yeah, we're definitely going to back that up now. It's a beautiful ghost. <laughs> Alright, let's see what the rating says. <laughs> I love it. It looks great. You'd ride that, right? It's a little boring through there, but... We're at a 56. We almost have it already, which is good. Um, we're gonna win this. It's not gonna be pretty, but we're gonna win it. Don't worry. You gotta believe. Okay, I wanna turn and go up with the turn. We're not banking nearly enough. Eh, crap. Hold on. Will that work? Oh, it's so close. Nice. Okay, we got it. 68. Oh, we are point one. We are point one away from greatness. I want the ride to end right now. I want to keep it. <laughs> we just need that extra point one and the ride stays. Does this not want to work here? No. It's already... Oh my god, our money is gone. Oh crap. That's not great. Huh. I wonder why this isn't working. If it can work here... Yeah. We have to change this. Didn't want to change it. It was kind of perfect right there. Yeah, now it's not going to work. Ah! Oh, that sucks. Oh, that really sucks. What am I supposed to do then? Go one more. Flatten it out. It somehow makes it over there. Okay. We gotta get this thing back. To we have $2,000. I gotta open up this park, get people in. We need money. Crap. This coaster's gonna suck. I mean, it's out of 71, but... I hate it. I'm sad. We don't need any more bank, probably, because it's going so slow. And right back to the station you go. Ooh, we almost made it. This is all I got. We're down to a thousand bucks. It's such a short, crappy coaster. Oh my god, it's so bad. But we hit a 79, so we just need one more coaster to complete that one, or to uh, help with that one achievement. Look at us go. Amazing. Well, it's probably going to be a popular one. We're not going to be able to charge any money for it, which is a damn shame. Because you know they would have paid. What do the queue lines look like here? Okay, so they are... Oh, we do have another ride over here. Turbine. Okay, so they do look like this path, but teal. I don't know how long to make this queue line. We could probably make it pretty long because it is a short ride. So we don't have to worry about people sitting a long time. Beautiful. And we got to keep all the trees too. Great. Let us grab the color because it's going to annoy me if it matches the exit. And I really don't feel like changing the exits. I might. I mean, it's just simple as doing that. Okay. So there you go. Ride built. And now we need to wait for money. 
So we're gonna ride this thing. Here we go. We're riding the coaster we built. The really good, super amazing coaster that I put a lot of work into. I could have gotten a loan. What is, are you gonna go? There you go, geez. A loan would have worked. There we go, we're more centered. That probably would have been the better choice, come to think of, oh well. The, the ride hits the numbers that we needed, and that's all that matters. It's a short ride, but it got the numbers. And with the campaign, that's all I really care about. I don't care about making a good park or good rides, just as long as they hit that limit that we need. So it's super exciting, and I didn't, you know, it's a short ride, so we can get a lot of people on and off it. Too bad we're not making money each time they ride it. That's it. That's the ride. That's amazing. Hopefully ride time doesn't matter. All right. It's open. Uh, let's look at the campaign scenario here. Let's see if these ones count. Oof. They do count. The two that are already made count. I'll get $5,000 when I complete that. We'll get a $5,000 when we complete that. And then we just need 600 guests in the park. I think with four coasters like that, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. This one might be easier. Oh, we're going to ride this one now. It's going up the chain hill. Okay, we'll see what this one's all about. Just think, we increase the chain hill speed on these two. I didn't even increase the chain hill speed on the other one. It'd probably be even better, or worse, because it's kind of crazy. Just think, we get to ride three coasters in this video. You're welcome. <laughs> Two of them are good, one of them is just awful, but works. I don't, see, this coaster doesn't seem anything too special. It could use more hills. It does have a few. I don't know, it just doesn't feel like it's going that fast, and I feel like I've built coasters that are more intense and cooler looking than this one, yet the ratings are nowhere near it. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just suck at building coasters, and uh, this is how you're supposed to build them. With brakes? Oh my god, brakes? I don't even know what those are. Also, that's a very low path. An extremely low path. Okay, and then we have this coaster. Yeah, these all have two trains. I feel like I should have had multiple trains on mine. Oh well. See, if we don't have multiple trains, we don't have to worry about them blowing up. Like station failure, which is what happened to that last coaster in the last video. Station failure, which means the brakes didn't work, and something happened, and it just, I don't know, it just kept on... I, you would think that if the station brakes failed, unless, unless there was a train sitting in the station, that's probably exactly what happened. So I was thinking, okay, if there's a coaster going, or if there's a train going through, the station brakes fail, it would just fly out, and then just keep going up the chain and go through again. But what probably happened was there was one sitting in the station already when the brakes failed, and then the other coaster came through, didn't stop, and plowed into it. That's probably what happened. Why do station brakes always have to fail when, you know, there's just one idling in the station? If it happened, you know, when both trains were in motion, it wouldn't be a problem. And sure, maybe brakes at the end of the ride would fix that problem, but where's the fun in that? You have to live with a little bit of danger, you know? <laughs> Woo! Yeah, these coasters make mine look like a steaming pile of garbage. But the good thing about mine, it has one train, but it is super short, so we should be able to get the people through pretty quickly. If anyone chooses to ride it, I don't actually know. These other coasters are better. So good thing they have multiple trains. And there you go. All the rides have been ridden. All the coasters, not the flat rides. Who cares about the flat rides? What are we researching? Gyro Drop Tower. Okay. I don't even know what we need to research. Look at this. People are still coming in. We're at 163. We made 3000 almost $4,000 on entry fee. Um, Hypercoaster was on TV, which is great. 
Yep, there are people riding. It's raining, though, so that's an issue. We need to cover up the bathrooms with scenery. Better yet, we'll just yoink this scenery over here. Because it's candy-themed. Good. Um, there's another bathroom right here that we got to cover. This will help with the experiences. Plop that on the top. Put that puff on the top, too. That's very important. Beautiful. And what about the fronts? We don't have a front, do we? No, we do. Oh, yeah, we do. Right here. Oh, look! It's floating! <gasps> Unbelievable. Yeah, from the normal angle, you wouldn't be able to see that it's floating, but with this new and improved angle... Oh, shame! That's fine. Put that there. And then we just need a roof. You know, I'm just gonna grab this roof. It's a chocolate bar. Wait, is this gonna actually... I don't think that counts as a cover. Maybe it does. Let's find out. Boop. Boop. And the reading is... It works! Nice. Oh, yeah, we gotta delete this path over here, too. Completely unnecessary to have that there. All right. What a great park! And I did, like, no work. I'm feeling pretty good about this scenario. We have a hundred and more people are coming out. The rain stopped. Almost 200 guests in the park. I can probably speed up time here to get more people in. I wonder, if I closed the park and they all left and reopened it, if I'd get even more money. That is a strategy. I don't know if it's going to work, but that is a strategy. 200 guests. And if we get a loan out, we can easily get a loan. Or we could just wait to get the um, money from the rewards. That'll probably work, too. Actually, we need a coach to get one of them. But if we have an experience rating of over 85, which should be easy to do with this park, when people decide to leave, we just have to wait for them to leave. Um, that's an easy 5,000. And we're probably going to get enough money before we get that. This is going to be so easy. Okay, remember how I was worried about this at the start of last video? Or at the end of last video? Thinking, oh no, what are these crazy things? There's a lot here. Nah. Nah. Easy. Super easy. We made less money last month because of the rain. Um, but this one, we got people fighting. We're almost, we're almost halfway. We're almost halfway with the guests we need. And we're still in year one. We're in March of year one. Three months in. We have two years from this exact moment to complete this. Oh, we have till the end of March. So, yeah, we have even more time than that. It does look like people numbers are slowing down a little bit. Do we even need research? Probably not. I can throw in some flat rides. I don't even think we need them, though. But, um, we'll see. I kind of want to do some campaigns eventually. Look at this. We should probably get more food and drink, though. Near the front. Yeah, I might do that. I might put a, pull a path out here. No, it's too far away. I might put some up here, maybe. I don't know. I'm just thinking of the haulers. Also, what is that box? Balloons. Balloons? We have a balloon shop somewhere? What? What? Where the hell do we have balloons? That's it's a balloon box, right? There are balloons on that box. Which means there's balloons somewhere in this park, and I have no idea where. It's a mystery. We'll never know. They're not by here. I don't know where these mystery balloons are. Ah. Nope. That's a ride. Maybe I'm just losing it. But anyway, I'm going to end this one here. I think we may finish this scenario next episode. We can pause, get a loan, build the coaster, get that $5,000,
and then I think it's going to be simple from there. We have three coasters already, and we're already at 300 guests, and it's raining, so not more are showing up, but yeah, this isn't going to be that bad. Anyway, ending this one here. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and share the video if you enjoyed the help it a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time.